I'm cleaning and I took the shower curtain down because I want to wash it. And this is what Gavin decided to do with the rings. Oh, they're cool, aren't they? I asked him to hold them and he just started putting them on immediately. And uh, so I think he'll have a, have a fun time playing with them while I continue to clean. But I've done the bathtub, I just have to do everything else. But that shower curtain needed to be cleaned. And I'm pretty sure that it's, you can wash them and dry them and it, that it's safe. So this will give him something to do anyway. You like them, Gavin? Yeah, we'll take, here, we can take it off. It's not stuck. Look, it's not stuck. There, here, look, it's not stuck. There we go. Yay! He did not like, I pulled his shirt sleeve up, he got it a little wet, and he did not like that. Okay, you ready? Here, we gotta put these dryer sheets in first. We have to have two of them, because they're not good. Here. Here. Here, Gavin. A big one. Big one. Yeah. We're almost finished. And that's how you get kids to work. Bye. 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 A few days ago, that was extreme close up. A few days ago, I was cleaning off this shelf back here. And there were a lot of like homemade DVDs and things like that. So I wanted to go through them because uh, let's be honest, it's been a very long time since I've watched any of those movies on that shelf. I keep a lot of them for Ashley. Some of them I keep for me, but a lot of them are for Ashley. So, uh, Gavin's just walked in. He's like, who in the world are you talking to? So anyway, on that shelf, I found a few CDs. No. Listen, there it is. So I'm going to talk over this music. So I found a couple of CDs that Kevin and I had made for games because on Thanksgiving we play games with the family. So this is one of the games that we made was we put song clips on a CD and you have to try to name that song. Now if you wanted to be really, really hard about it, you would like name the group or the person and then if you wanted to be even harder you would like if you had a big prize you wanted to give away you would be you would say name the artist and the song uh, both and you have to get them both right but anyway we always gave out prizes at Thanksgiving and so you just
just, you play a clip and then you can pause it. When it goes off, you can pause it right here. And then that'll give the people a minute to think before you move on. Go upstairs. Stay right there, okay? Stay right there. Mr. Gavin is wearing his boat shoes. I don't know what, Sperry's? That's what they're called. Um, because he threw away one of his tennis shoes. Threw one in the garbage, so... So it's interesting to me, these are pretty, this is a pretty old CD. Um, as far as a game goes, it's probably five years old. And uh, so it's interesting to me to see what songs I chose to put on here. And I have the, the cheat sheet. Because the person doing the game, conducting the game, has to have the answers. Oh, look. Up, 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 up. He's wearing this Thomas shirt. We actually got him the summer shirt at Bye Bye Baby. It was only like three dollars and fifty cents. It was ridiculously cheap. You like that? He doesn't know what to think of it. It, uh -oh. it torments him anyway when songs go off. So to have this constantly going off, he doesn't like it. With their noses in the air. What you see this little ringlet over here? Perfect little curl. Yes. Anyway, we got him a couple shirts at Bye Bye Baby. We got him like three. And they were all like three fifty each. It was ridiculous. I couldn't pass them up. And and I got them in his size now. Uh, two of them were long sleeve. But like right now, we're still having a cold day. And tomorrow... It's supposed to be in like the 30s tomorrow, so it's gonna be ridiculous. Cause we had hoped that we were into like all spring temperatures now. No. What are you doing? Are you touching my neck? Nasty. 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 Like touching the flap on an old woman's arm. What is wrong with you? Daddy's here. Daddy's here. What are you doing? Yucky. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Are you going to get your chair? You get it. You get it. You're very strong. You're very strong. I think you can get it. I think you can get it. It's stuck, he said. Lots of things get stuck. Yeah, Daddy. He wants this chair in the living room. He has to have his own chair so he can sit in here with us. Because... Because Andrew sits on the couch and I sit in this blue chair. So he has to have his chair. Yeah. Are you a big boy? So Andrew just left with Gavin, but you saw before uh, the the song thing that I was trying to show you. We just play a little piece and then leave a pause in between each song, and it's a lot of fun. We've done the same thing with movies, like um, uh, we'll put uh, Kevin's taking movies and put them on uh, DVD little snippets and seeing if people can guess the the movie. Um, 
one year we did, uh, I found movie posters online and uh, we went to a lot of trouble. I wish we had kept a copy, honestly, because we found these movie posters and he covered up the names of them, but they still looked really cool. And he would print those out and each person would get like, a, like six sheets. It was like a little book of these movie posters and you would guess what movie they were from. So we played a lot of fun games throughout the years. Uh, but that song game is one of them that we play, and it's really fun. And you can do it with, um, I did it with all sorts of music, uh, stuff I like, stuff I don't like. Uh, but you can do it with just Christmas music, Christmas music only. Um, and that's a lot of fun. But anyway, while Andrew was here, the mail came, and I went out and got the mail. And uh, we got something in the mail from... Um, the Hour of Power, the Crystal Cathedral. If you all have ever listened to uh, Robert Schuller, I'm sure a lot of you have. Um, it just says, uh, this is not an easy letter to write. My heart is deeply saddened to share with you the news of the passing of my grandfather, Robert H. Schuller, just a year and two months after my grandmother, Arvella, went to be with our Lord. It was this morning when Dr. Schuler joined his beloved wife, dying peacefully with family surrounding him on all sides. Um, but then it goes on. Uh, he said he was uh, 88 years old. And uh, so, anyway, I have not watched The Hour of Power in years, The Crystal Cathedral, but I used to love it. And I don't even know... Honestly, I don't know if it comes on anymore. I don't know if we get it locally, if it does come on. Uh, I would say the way technology is now, I would say they're online if you want to watch them. You know, if, if they're still having services at the Crystal Cathedral, which I'm sure they are, uh, it would seem like you would be able to watch those online um, just because everything else is online. So, anyway, the... Um, the political stuff, the political ads are starting, and, you know, I, they're just wasting their money with me. Um, I know they're trying to get their their face out there and their name out there, but for me, I will decide on issues, and I'm not going to bring up issues here because um, the reason is, is because some people just, they wouldn't like me anymore. You wouldn't want to watch me. If you felt if you felt like I felt one way politically and that we had a connection, and then you found out that I felt another way, I think it would bother you. Uh, there is a woman that I watch on YouTube, and I'm not going to say who it is, and um, I've never mentioned her before, never mentioned watching her before. I'm actually not even subscribed to her channel. But I watch her faithfully. That is so weird to say, but that's just the truth. Anyway, she came out a few days ago, and because I'm fairly new to her channel, I've probably only been watching her about a month, she's been on the internet for like four years on YouTube. Well, I don't know that much about her. I just know that I like watching her now. And I can't tell you what it is. It's just... She just has one of these personalities where she talks on and on and on, and you just want to sit there and listen to her. Even though you're like, okay, you're rambling, kind of like what I'm doing right now, you just want to stay and watch her and hear what she has to say, and I just really like her. So, anyway, she came out the other day. I'm looking at, um, we got the coupons in the mail. Um... The other day, she came out and said she was for a certain candidate for president. And it just really surprised me. And I'm not saying that I'm not going to vote for that candidate because, frankly, I'm unsure right now. And that's a big thing for me to say because um, I was always, have always been like, I vote, I check the party, and don't even look elsewhere because you would just assume that that's the best way to go. And I've learned, it's taken me a few years to learn that that's not always the best way to go. That just because they're in your party doesn't mean they're good people. Uh, they can still be really 
backstabbing, and I don't like all the, um, I think it makes your party look really, really bad when you uh, make fun of people. Uh, for example, I've seen uh, people uh, post things on Facebook, cartoons and stuff about the president. I think that's horrible. I don't care if it's a Democrat in the office or Republican in the office. You don't make, I don't make fun of the president. That's just, to me, that's off limits. That's a no-no. You know, this is a man with a wife and two daughters. And those daughters, uh, you don't think they see stuff like that? I just think, I, I just don't care how your politics are. I just don't like making fun of people like that. And I know it's different if they've done something, I guess, if they've said something corny or silly or something like that to make fun. Um, but I don't think it's, uh, funny to, uh, put shabby clothes on them or make them have buck teeth or pimples or, you know, weird hair or whatever. I just, I don't know. I just, I just don't like that. I just don't think that's playing nice. I don't like getting stuff in email, nasty stuff. I don't like seeing nasty stuff on Facebook like that. I just... I just don't like it. But anyway, she came out and said that she was for a certain candidate. And that's great that she knows right now who she's voting for. Because I don't have, I don't know. I want to see all the issues. And I hope she's not voting for this candidate just because they're in a certain party. I hope that she will actually look at all the issues carefully and make sure that that's who she wants. Because uh, that's a very, you know, that's somebody who's going to be in office four years, potentially eight years. So, anyway, I don't, uh, long story short, I know, a long, uh, I don't want to advertise uh, my political views just because, just because I'm in a certain party doesn't mean I believe or agree with everything that that party does. And... Because I'm sure you would be surprised to learn that uh, of some of the things that I would not agree with in my party. So, anyway, that's enough of that politics. Somebody, somebody named Sophia D. asked me in a comment. She said that she would love to see the Dunn family do the 50 question tag. So, got on the internet. There's a lot of 50 question tags, just so you know. Uh, but the one that's most popular right now, the first question is, do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? So I went with that one, and I actually found one that had like 70 questions. So I've got 70 questions here, and it's just a matter of getting everybody together. I mean, I could answer these really quick for you. Uh, I haven't even really pondered them, but... Um, it says the Dunn family. So that means she doesn't want to hear just me. She wants to hear everybody. So if the weather's nice this weekend, we plan on cooking the ribs that we bought at Meyer. Not this week, past weekend, but the week before. Because this weekend it was right. Oh, no, we bought them. We bought them Saturday. We were going to have them Sunday, but then it rained Sunday. The weather was horrible. So we said, well, we'll have them this week. So... If the weather's nice, they'll be here, and we'll see if I can get everybody to sit down and do it, because that is the challenge. And, of course, the Young Master is going to be running amok, and I can't help that. You know, he's almost two, and he's here. I'm not going to get him. Uh, he doesn't have a babysitter, and I'm not going to tie him up just so we can answer questions. <laughs> so, I know most of you will not mind. I know some of you... Um, want the children seen and not heard, um, but we'll see how it goes. We just have to see how it goes, you know, and sometimes he acts silly during videos or is loud, and I'm able to cut it out so that you don't hear all of it, so you might think you're hearing all of it, but you don't, because I try my best to cut that out. So anyway, I will, um, I'll do my best to get us together for that. Uh, tonight Survivor comes on, so I'm happy about that. Kevin and I are almost finished with the West Wing. 
which I'm excited about, but then really nervous about because we've been watching the West Wing. Ashley got us started watching it, and then Ashley quit watching it, of course. That's how it always goes. Um, I'm going to move because I'm going to, I made me some coffee here, and it is finished, so I'm going to make me a cup while I'm talking. Um, and that light is horrible. Anyway, Ashley got us started on the West Wing, and then Ashley quit watching it because that's Ashley. Ashley just is able to pick pick up shows and then drop them just as easy, even if she's halfway through it. She watched like three seasons of Dexter and then all of a sudden quit watching it. And Andrew said, how in the world could she stop watching it? This is a wonderful show. Kevin and I watched two episodes of Dexter, and uh, we it was not for us. So, no, did not want to watch that. I, I don't need all that stuff in my life. I just don't. So, um, anyway, we are probably four or five episodes away from the uh, end of the West Wing. And I hate that because I really, really, really loved it. It's been a wonderful show. This last um, season has been difficult since... Um, since his presidency is ending, and it, it's almost, I told Kevin, it's like it's a different TV show completely, because you're seeing, they're focusing mainly on all different people, but, um, but we have other shows that we're thinking about, uh, you know, we thought, what do we want to start up next, what series, and there's one that's been on PBS, I think it's called Grant Chester, and so we're thinking about watching that, and I think it's like a mystery show, but it's in England, I think, and, and it just looks like it would be uh, interesting but clean, <laughs> so um, I sound boring, I know, um, but then we've also, uh, I told Kevin, I said, what about this Nurse Jackie show? I don't know anything about it, not one thing. The only thing that I know about Nurse, I think it's called Nurse Jackie. The only thing I know about it is the main character was the the mother, uh, Carmela, in The Sopranos. That's the only thing I know about it. And she's a nurse, you know. So, um, but I don't know what kind of a show it is. So, if it's, if it's real bad, we probably won't watch it. But I can't imagine if it takes place in a hospital or something. Nurse Jackie. Is that what I said, Nurse Jackie? Anyway, so... Um, after West Wing, we will probably start that up. Um, and I, that still is running, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, anyway, I've rambled on forever, I know. I just wanted to check in. Um, I haven't been a good uh, vlogger, I know. My last one was really short, and it was boring, and I'm sorry about that. Um, I've cleaned all day today. I've done all the laundry. I actually took the the curtains and the uh, shower curtain down in the bathroom, in Kevin's bathroom, and washed them and hung them back up. Um, so, today's just been a day of cleaning, and I know Gavin loved every bit of it, because Gavin likes to run around and clean. So, <laughs> hopefully he stays that way, because he can help when he gets older. Anyway, I'm going to go back on the computer, read comments, probably answer some, and enjoy my cup of coffee. So I will check, I will try to check back in with you later. I, I will try not to forget. So I wanted to comment on something about my vlogs. I know other people that do daily vlogs, they seem to, to flow a lot better. And it's like, to me, even when I'm making them, it's like, you know, there's something missing in between. And what you're missing in between on my vlogs is that because we make other videos, I am actually making other videos. I'm just not putting them in the vlog video. Uh, for example, Kevin came home from work and we had a box in our P.O. box. So when he came home, we actually did a review of some stuff that we had received yesterday. So after that review, that was one video, the review. Then after that review, we did a, a box opening of the box that was at the post office. So that's two videos. So 
you won't see those videos in here. Time has gone by, but you won't see it because you'll see it in other videos and you just won't realize that I did it all during that same time. It's just separate videos. So anyway, I just want to comment on that. That's why mine don't flow as well as um, others. And right now I've got one loaded up. Um, I have one loaded up on the computer now that I'm working on, uh, one that Ashley made. So I know you all like uh, her recipes and her cooking and stuff like that. So um, there goes Guido. <laughs> um, so I'm working on that right now. Um, so anyway, I just, I wanted to comment on that because I know it seems like things jump around and time passes and I don't check in or I forget to check in and it's because I've made other videos so I feel like I'm recording for the vlog more than I am and I'm just not. So anyway, that's just, that's just how it, how it is. So hopefully you enjoy the, the vlogs anyway and Hopefully they're not too boring when, you know, we're just in the house and, and doing stuff like that. So I'm here in the den and I've pulled, I've closed the curtains and I've pulled out the playpen and Gavin went in the other room to get Guido because he does not want to take a nap without Guido in the room. He didn't see Guido in here so he said Guido Guido and he went to find him. You got your Guido, didn't you? Yeah. Guido has to have a nap too at the same time. I'm trying to get him on. There he is. He's running. He's he's hyper right now. But I hope to get him to uh, lay down. <laughs> I hope to get him to lay down a few minutes. Even though he's very hyper. Gavin, no, no. Close those. No, no. I'll have to fix those now. Where is Gavin? Oh. I'm gonna get you. 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 Get that baby. You have to take a nap. It's nap time! It's nap time! <laughs> I'm gonna get that baby. I'm gonna get that baby. Get in here! Get in here! He's not here yet. Oh, I see Papa. Stand up. Here he comes. Stand up. You see him? No. He's coming. You just can't see him. You're not quite tall enough. Oh, you'll see him now. No. Who is it, Gavin? Papa. 
Papa. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah. He's been saying, where's Papa? Where's Papa? Hey. Oh, Papa Have needs a Papa needs a hug. Oh, yes, I want the hugs. Papa oh, needs wait, Papa just... needs a kiss. Kiss I, him. I need a give, kiss. Give him a kiss. No, don't steal my pen. I need a kiss. Mwah. Look. <laughs> Well, first I want to tell you that last night I told you that Kevin and I were working on the West Wing, and Kevin is adjusting the camera for <laughs> me. Uh, we were working on the West Wing. Last night we finished it. Uh, we only had, what, two episodes left? Something like that. I thought we had like four episodes left. We only had two. It was really, really good. Uh, we're both sad that it's over, but like I said yesterday, we'll start on something new. Yeah, they ended it well, too. Yeah, they did a really, really good job. Uh, they didn't end it the way that I thought they would, which is good. I'm glad they didn't end it in like a typical way. Uh, they ended it the way it should have been ended, and I won't say any more because if you haven't watched it, it's a great series. It, it took good. us probably two episodes to get into it because it started way back you know, and the, the uh, picture's not that good on it when you watch the first few and everything. So you really just have to keep watching and it gets really good. So, but the reason we're together in this video is because we have some news to give you. Um, if you'll remember way back, I sold my car and I had a little bit of money left for my car and from selling the car. And uh, then um, we got our taxes back and we didn't spend any of our taxes. Normally something comes up every year to where we have to spend our whole tax check. This year we were able to keep it and put it in savings. So our special news is we're going to Disney. We booked a trip to Disney. Again. Again. So just like uh, last year, um, we, uh, we went uh, alone and we vlogged it all. And we will be doing that again this year. Um, it should be a lot of fun. I'm not going to say when we're going, uh, just for security reasons, although we have an alarm system on the house and uh, we're having somebody stay here. Um, you know, still you want everything to be safe while you're gone. So um, we will be going though for five nights, six days. And we'll be going to all four parks, just like we did last year. And we're going to get to um, experience, uh, hopefully, a couple new restaurants. We've already reserved one, but hopefully we'll try maybe one more new one. And um, so it should be a really good time. And when we get back, you'll see all the videos. So you'll know that we're back. You won't notice any interruption in videos, just like last year. Um, I will... Um, make them and uh, what is that called schedule them. schedule them sorry i will schedule them to where you shouldn't notice any interruption in videos at all hopefully um we will uh i know somebody's gonna ask me about london what about london are you still saving for london we are still saving for london we don't have all the money saved up yet but we will we're not going until next year so we will have the money saved up by then and we will be going to london next year we don't have it yet, but you know, we decided um, we're getting at the age to where we like to get away once a year. It's just nice after working all year long and being in the same schedule all year long. It's nice to get away from for a week. You know, when we were younger, didn't mind at all. And when we were younger, we didn't know what vacation was like either because we hadn't been on one. We couldn't afford it. So uh, for many, many years, we didn't go on vacation at all. So now that we can afford a little bit more, it's nice to just get away for a week. So anyway, I uh, wanted to give you that news and um, thanks for watching.